our tree. We are putting up our tree 2022. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. Why do you act like that? I just want to act like us. Stop acting like that. Y'all got a camera on me. I got it. Whoa, it's going back and forth. <laughs> sit down and show you some of the beautiful thoughtful gifts that my family got for me this year family brian brian's family my family um i just felt so spoiled this year and so full of gratitude i wanted to share just just a small sampling of the things um just because mainly to document this for myself because sometimes i go back and i look at the past vlogs from Christmas to remember what I got on what year. I'm not gonna show everything because like I said, they all spoiled me way too much. So this is just a small sample. I wanna start off with Brian got me this. Old Tiger handheld games that we used to play when we were kids. And he got me this because he wanted to get me something. Listen to the story, this, make, this is gonna make me cry. He wanted to get me something from my childhood like like the scene in the Santa Claus because the Santa Claus is one of my favorite Christmas movies I grew up watching it it felt like Christmas came every time I got to watch that movie um spoiler alert if you've never seen the Santa Claus I know it's old I'm still gonna put a spoiler alert but at the end Santa Tim Allen <laughs> gives the adults the toys that they wanted when they stopped the toys that they asked for that they never got and that's what made them stop believing in Santa Claus. Brian wanted to get me something like that scene at the end of the movie where they get something from their childhood and it just like means a lot to them and that is the background behind this gift and I thought that was so sweet. I legit started sobbing when I opened this so that's really sweet and then he also got me one of my favorite albums of all time on vinyl three cheers for sweet revenge by my chemical romance this has been one of my favorite albums since i was 14 years old um no skip album and it's one of the albums that brought us close together when we first started dating back in 2008 um, we bonded over music and this was one of the very first albums that we really bonded over so he got me it on vinyl and I started crying when I saw that I thought that was very sweet I love this I can't wait to open it can't wait to listen to it on vinyl um he also got me this <laughs> Junji Ito shirt that I kept going back to over and over again at the mall because it's a ballerina and I used to be a ballerina and I used to dress up like a creepy ballerina every Halloween. So I was like, creepy ballerina, 
that's me and i would be like should i get it should i get it i don't know and i never would end up getting it so he got that for me and i thought that was sweet so i can't wait to creep everyone out with that um <laughs> he also got me this planner that i really wanted that helps you plan if you're witchy like i am or practice um or follow the moon cycles this is a lunar planner uh it has all the lunar events of the year in it and i've been trying to get it year after year uh but it sells out every single year it's called the many moons planner from gotas like highly recommend it um well i don't know if i highly recommend it because this is the first year i got it but i finally was able to get my hands on it because brian so generously got it for me for christmas so i'm gonna have to open this now because it's december 30th and i gotta start planning gotta start planning for the new year so we're gonna open that up later but look at it came with this cool holographic card look how pretty that is beautiful and then of course he spoiled me to the extreme and got me a kindle okay it's it, it hasn't even been a week since christmas and let me tell you i've already used this so much i don't know if you can see the fingerprints i need to get a case for it but um I am obsessed with this. I randomly added this to my list of wants this year because I saw a TikTok. Oh, here's the book I'm reading. I saw a TikTok where a girl was explaining how having a Kindle made her read so much faster and she didn't really know why. And I honestly feel like it's probably because we're so used to reading on our phones and scrolling really quickly that it makes you read faster. And I've been really getting back into reading this year um, and back into writing because I used to write all the time there was a period back in 2016 where I wrote like four novellas in a year and I kind of just stopped I lost all that I went through a really really rough time my mental health got really bad and I lost everything that I used to be so passionate about but I'm finally getting back into it so he got me this kindle and I'm obsessed it's the paper white waterproof so I can read in the bath without worrying about it. Uh, I'm already hooked up to Libby. I got some books going. Um, I got a three month trial for Kindle Unlimited. So I get to test that out. And then I can access my Audible on this as well, which is really cool. I can hook it up to my um, earbuds, but I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this. Right now I'm reading uh, one that I randomly just picked out from Libby. Uh, the Song That Moves the Sun by Anna Bright. It's a YA book and I'm already loving this because it ties in astrology, planets, old Italian astronomy concepts into it and so I'm loving that already. So I just feel spoiled. And then speaking of being able to read in the bath, my mom, oh my gosh, she wowed me and surprised me a hundred percent with this big bad boy which i have to test out if it works in my tub or not i'm really not sure but it's this bathtub caddy which for those of you who know from stream or whatever or from my past videos where i've unboxed the witch baby soap um i spent a lot of time in the bath a lot of my magical practice is focused on taking baths and this is going to be awesome I can't wait to set this up and use it. Hopefully it will work. Actually, I'm going to try that now because I need to know. Um, and then another thing that she got me, I'm not going to show you everything that they got me because honestly, it was really sweet and uh, just a couple things from my list that I asked for it. But she got me this while we were out shopping together and then wrapped it up and I had completely forgot about it. But a new evil eye bracelet because my evil eye bracelet broke. Mm, my evil eye bracelet broke <laughs> this year. But look at how cute this is red heart evil eye bracelet and then brian's mom and family so sweet got me this book that i really wanted she asked if there was anything i really wanted for christmas and i couldn't really think of anything because she always just buys me very thoughtful gifts but she got me this book that i wanted i listened to this on audible back in 2021 it's called the plot by gene humph Corliss. I hope I'm saying that right. I listened to it on Audible and let me tell you, I really enjoyed it. Do I remember the details of it? No. So that's why I want to reread it again. Friends, family also got me a squish <laughs> They got me so much and I am so grateful, but uh, 
They got me this little lava with the glasses. I can't. I can't. I just want to say, if you stuck by me in 2022, thank you. Um, I focused a lot on streaming this year and I was very consistent with my streaming, but not very consistent with anything else that I was doing. And I want to change that in 2023. I know I feel like I say this every year and I never follow through. So we'll see if I follow through, but I really miss making different types of content. So if you've been here the whole time, just thank you. And I hope that 2023 brings you nothing but happiness. Thank you so much for being here.